My name is Linda Murray, and I am the author of Diploma Matters, a field guide for college and career readiness. I want to take you through some of the audit and blueprint tools that we've developed for your use, for the use of districts and schools who are on a journey toward college and career readiness for all. And the first uh, set of tools that I want to talk to you about are our educational opportunity audit tools. These really set the stage for what's happening to students now in your high schools and sets the stage for that planning process of how are we going to make college and career readiness um, an outcome for all students. Uh, the, the centerpiece of the educational opportunity audit is uh, a study of student transcripts. And what we do is we look at the transcripts of your most recent high school graduating class and look backwards over the four years of high school to see what the journey through high school really looks like. Um, what kind of patterns are there in the courses that students take? And we ask that uh, that data is disaggregated so that you can see if the journey is different for um, students of color, for students from poor backgrounds, for English learners, special needs kids. Um, and so that you can see which patterns are most prevalent for which subgroups. We also, in the process of looking at student transcripts, um, look for choke points or places where kids hit the wall. Where in the, in the journey through high school do they stop being successful in rigorous coursework? What are the most significant choke points? We find math is it a lot. Um, and we also look to see if within the student transcripts there's evidence of any kind of interventions so that if students struggle, they may have a support class ready to catch them up uh, as they struggle with a new concept. We find, for example, in many districts that students fail a course like algebra two or three times in the course of their high school career, and the only intervention is to take the course over again. And when, when teachers and counselors see that, it's, it's a real eye-opening moment, and the, it's an aha and how can this be happening to our students and why don't we have things in place to make sure they don't fail two, maybe three times. The transcript study doesn't stand alone. Another tool in the toolbox is a study of master schedules. And, and described in the book are some guiding questions to lead uh, the reader through the, um, uh, a study of the master schedule. Because the master schedule is really kind of like the structure of the high school and how we use time to either benefit students or to try to move them straight through um, a course of study that looks the same for every student. And that's not going to work in a school which has students who, some of whom will struggle more with difficult content. And the master schedule should reflect and emphasis on providing support classes for those students. Uh, master schedule also tells you a lot about how you distribute the talent of your faculty so that you can understand whether kids who need the best instruction are really getting it. If their classes tend to be smaller than those um, where students are just soaring through. Uh, or whether the system, the schedule works against students in, in that struggling students, we find often, have the largest classes, the most novice teachers. They're not, in other words, given the strongest resources to ensure their success. So between the study of the transcripts and the master schedule, you learn an awful lot about what high school is. And uh, from there, we have tools embedded in this book uh, as part of the Educational Opportunity Audit that actually survey uh, the various departments in the district to see what kind of emphasis, what priorities we have for instruction, what kind of prerequisites are built in that may be barriers for some kids taking more advanced coursework like AP classes, um, whether or not um, um, the, there's good benchmark testing that guides the instructional process and helps teachers uh, bring all students to mastery. 
And then uh, we also survey uh, district to find out what are the safety nets and student supports you already have put in place. Um, what are the quality of your professional development programs that you provide for teachers? How are your budget priorities determined? Are your facilities adequate to give all students access? For example, to science classes like this, where they can do uh, the lab work that's required for college preparation. So the audit is, is fairly comprehensive and includes not just sort of this uh, quantitative analysis of what's going on. It also includes some qualitative study through focus groups with students, teachers, parents, and, um, and with community conversations that invite uh, uh, stakeholders together to talk about what's most important in high school. Uh, in the book, you'll find protocols for those focus groups so that the questions that seem to be most relevant through our work in the nine California districts are those that will yield information that's helpful for you. And uh, there's protocols for the community conversations also so that you can take a large group of stakeholders through a very thoughtful process of helping define what is the most important for us to do for our students in high school. From there, um, uh, you have pretty much a comprehensive picture of high school. That's the Educational Opportunity Audit. Put all of that together and you have sort of a baseline established for how are we going to take our schools from where they are now and what's happening to kids now and bring them forward so that they have the kind of educational excellence that we want that the rigor is there, that the, that the preparedness is, is built in for all students. And that's when you move into the blueprint phase. And the blueprint is, again, there's a lot of process where we involve stakeholders in developing the blueprint, which is really a pretty detailed plan of action for how you're going to move your high schools forward to, um, to the vision of college readiness for all. And we provide um, guiding questions for the um, development of that blueprint, as well as templates to use to actually write the action plan. And um, they're all in this book, in, in, the, in the field guide, and they are also, the tools, are also online at our uh, Education Trust West website. So you can actually go to the website, find the tools, download them and use them um, in your own district. So um, we hope this provides a very useful uh, resource for those who are taking this journey. We believe the tools are comprehensive. Uh, it, toward the end of the book, I talk about what it looks like to implement the Educational Opportunity Audit and Blueprint in the districts we've worked with. And you can kind of feel the power of the tools as they're implemented in uh, very diverse school districts across the state of California and, um, and really understand how they would look in your district as well. So that's kind of the, the, the big picture of what these tools are and what they're intended to do. Um, there are other tools that I haven't talked about today, but they're, they're in um, the, the, are in this field guide, and um, whether they're templates or data collection tools or analysis tools, um, questions, surveys, focus group protocols, they're all there for you, and hopefully you'll find them as useful as the districts we've worked with have found them.